Now, early results from Ghana's presidential election show a tight race between the ruling party and main opposition candidates. Returns show John Atta Mills of the National Democratic Congress winning about 50% of the vote, slightly ahead of Nana Akufo Addo from the ruling New Patriotic Party. The two men are competing to replace President John Kafour, who is stepping down. Final results are expected by Wednesday, and analysts say a runoff is likely. Ghana's 12 million registered voters also cast ballots for a new parliament Sunday. Observers say the voting in Ghana was peaceful. Voice of America's Peter Court is there covering the election. He now joins me from Accra. Peter, welcome to In Focus. Thank you very much, Vincent. Thank you. Should I say Major Ghana Tissen? Oh, Ghana, yeah, meaning Ghana is good. All right, Mehuye. Now, the last time I checked, uh, Peter, uh, the results were too close to call between uh, Professor John Atta Mills of uh, NDC and Dr. Akufo Ado of NDP. What is uh, the latest? Oh, well, the latest, the latest development is that the election results are still being certified and being released by the Independent Electoral Commission. And from all the results that have so far been released, it looks like a statistical dead heat between uh, the main opposition leader, former Vice President uh, John Evans Atta Mills, and the main um, ruling party of the new Patriotic Party, um, Nana Kufado, who served under President John Ajikum Kufo as both the attorney general as well as the foreign minister. So it looks like a statistical dead hit with other opposition parties, the Convention People's Party, which is the first party to rule Ghana since 1957, um, really not pulling its weight, uh, not doing as well as uh, anticipated. And then the pro Provisional um, National Convention, which is the PNC, yes. trailing at a distant fourth, McCoy. Now, uh, Peter, one other thing is that uh, it was thought that the outgoing president, uh, John Kufo, was doing a fabulous job in the last eight years that is, he has been in power. What is the explanation behind the strong showing of the opposition in this election? Well, I think the message of the position has caught on well with a lot of Ghanaians. Um, a lot of Ghanaians are talking about pocketbook issues or the kids table issues where um, the concern about their purchasing power, things that they used to buy a year or a year um, two ago or somewhat 10, 15 years ago, they are not able to purchase those same things um, this time. And, and they're worried about the recent global economic crisis that adversely affected uh, products, goods, and services, and those were the things that were a particularly pronounced in this um, uh, last Sunday's election. You Peter. could talk about health issues and improvement in education, among others, are some of the issues that played significant roles in, in, in what the determination of the elections could be. Now, Peter, many times in African nations, when we see an election taking place, we expect some violence, rigging, or claims of rigging and protests. How has it been in Ghana? Well, there have been um, little accusations of rumors and counter accusations here and there, but those have not been properly substantiated. Those are, were mere allegations. But all in all, it looks like a near perfect election. Both international and local observers have um, certified that this election is free, fair, and credible. Um, uh, I, I will quote you what General Gowon, the former Nigerian uh, president, said, uh, and that since the Independent Electoral Commission has been organizing about that uh, this will be the five consecutive elections they have held in this country, all the rest of the four met international standards. So now, this is a no exception. The other thing is that we noticed that the results were being announced piecemeal at the polling stations, witnessed by agents, journalists, and anybody else who was there. How has this helped the process, Peter? Well, it helps the process to be credible because you have a party agents certifying the results and agreeing that, yes, they will only append their signature if they are satisfied with the voting process. All in all, they seem to have come to a conclusion or agreement that the election was credible. So they append their signature. Those where they fail to append their signature, they call for a recount that is properly addressed, uh, promptly addressed by the Electoral Commission, and then they append uh, their signature, and then it is sent to the coalition center. Yeah, briefly, when do Ghanaians expect the next president to be sworn in? 
Well, the next president is expected to be sworn in on January 7th. Um, that is what uh, the Constitution requires. And I okay. believe that it will be mandated. Thank you very much, uh, Peter. And uh, that is uh, Peter Clote of the Voice of America coming to us from uh, Ghana, Accra. Well, thank you very much, Vincent. Thanks a lot. What do you think of the stories we have on In Focus? We want to hear from you. So send us an email at africatv at vonews.com. Perhaps you'll see your response on one of our shows.